Hey, ma'am, I give a new car, and she has never used a car before. Will she be able to drive that? No, it's going to get little difficult for her. But over with, you know, multiple practice. I'll repeat it with multiple practice and her own experiential learning. Only then she will be able to acquire that. Now, this particular resources and tools that we are going to discuss today is going to be like that car. The more number of times you use it, the better is the confidence that you will have. And for this, we have properly structured our training program. And if you want to know more about the training program, you can visit this website called as www.superteacher.in. And there's going to be a separate tab called as Mission E Guru. This particular session is going to be like a trailer, trailer of a movie you would have seen, right? Two and a half hours movie, put in two minutes of trailer. It's going to be something like that. You'll get an idea of what you will be learning in that particular training program. If you like this session, definitely you'll feel like it's worth joining. I think so. If you don't like this session, you'll be like, no use. This is enough. This is enough. Something like that. So let me see if you like it or not at the end of the session. And let me quickly start with the program. One of the most important aspects of training or teaching the students is giving them an understanding of uh, giving them an experience of the concept. Now, say, for example, Shravanti ma'am is talking about linear equations in one variable. Now, when she's talking about a chapter on mathematics, she has a board or some kind of a tool with which she will try to explain the students. What do you mean by linear equation? Can we do that online? We don't even know if Shavanti is sitting right, you know, if the students are sitting right off on the other side. Some of you have turned on their videos, so that's okay. What if the students have not turned on the videos? It becomes really difficult. Most of the times they go to the kitchen, have food with their mother or, you know, and the classes happen over there. All such nonsense happens. But how to avoid that? You don't have to ask the students to turn on the video. Just make sure your class is very interesting. We can give some fantastic experience using some tools like this. Let me share my screen. One of the most important important aspects of any conceptual understanding is giving the students the experience of a topic and to give some experience of the topic virtually i have this website called as fet.colorado.edu you can make a note of it that's going to be the first website that we are discussing today have you heard about fet P H E T. Make a note of it, teachers. Some of the social studies or English teachers might feel like if I had this during my days, I would have been much, much different. And I'll show you. I show you. So fed.colorado.edu is a fantastic website where you can actually do or you know understand a concept by doing it virtually. Now, what do you mean by doing it virtually? These are called as simulations. Heard about simulation, Bhargavi ma'am? I think see, suppose if Bhargavi ma'am wants to learn how to drive an aeroplane. Can she simply go and take an aeroplane and go for one round and come back? No. For her to understand how aeroplane works, she needs to understand what are the components present inside. And for that, they have a separate room in aviation academies where they have all these controls, which will look like an aeroplane. It's a prototype. It's not the real thing. Such things are called as simulators. FET is a simulation website. The moment you come to this website, you have simulations written over here, physics, chemistry, maths, biology, all different subjects. This is specifically for science and maths teachers. I'll come back to the other subject as well. The moment I open the website, these are some of the topics. This is applicable for all the grades, depending upon your curriculum, and you can start using it. Capacitor labs, okay. Charges and fields, okay. Collision, okay. Energy forms and changes, forces and motion. Okay, what do we have here? Right after opening two of the websites, let me open bending of light. You can see here and Faraday's law. Okay, so let, let's first go to bending of light. Suppose if Bhargavi ma'am is teaching today students, what is light reflection and refraction? She will come here and open this. Right after that, you can see there's a small torch over here and uh, you can turn this on. The moment you do that, you can see that there's a proper refraction happening, a reflection happening. And, and, and when you talk to the students about laws of reflection and reflection, refraction, what do you say? Laws of reflection, you say that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. In fact, you even make an angle on the board and you show to the students. Here you can do the same by using a protractor over here. This is called as a protractor, right? Not a compass. Yeah, protractor. I get confused. So this is a protractor over here. And you can see that here. Uh, if it's 60, this is 70, 80, 90, no, 65. So this is 65 angle of incidence and 65 angle of reflection. I just have to keep it properly and you can prove the fact. You can also talk about angle of reflect incidence and angle of refraction. You can talk about this theory called as Snell's law, refractive index and stuff like that. Here you have these two meters, which could be adjusted to change the density of a medium or 
refractive index of the medium right so for higher class students if you want to talk about see this is total internal reflection you remember they talk about that mirage effect why does you know you have water kind of a thing at the far of a road but when you go near it is not there yeah the nature fools us that's called as mirage you can talk about all these things to the students using this particular board now this is just one topic if i have to talk about the intensity of light i bring this i keep it over here you can see that the 100% is the intensity but after refraction the intensity is just 59.34 after reflection 40% i mean it's like some part goes up some part comes down here you have the complete light chapter covered within one say i think 2 minutes or 3 minutes up to a certain extent i can even talk about dispersion of light you have got prism kind of a mechanism over here i just turn on the black room and the white light because only white light get dispersed right it, it it consists of seven different colors i'm not trying to teach you science over here teachers i'm just trying to tell you that these are some of the experiments where you can actually bring all those hardware which the students cannot touch right now because of lockdown the lessons can be taught virtually and simulations can be very very effective so right after this you can talk about uh, you know uh, dispersion of light scattering of light whatever you want to and this is a very very classic experiment now comes another this one i have to definitely explain it to you uh, some of you might, yeah, most of you will already know about faraday's first law right what is faraday's first law we say that uh, let me repeat the statement okay uh, some teachers if you do not know it's really fun uh, because you will not understand in the first statement the first statement actually says that when magnetic field lines interact with a conductor it induces an emf in the circuit and a current flows through it did you understand some of you might be like repeat it once more right that's why faraday is difficult otherwise it wouldn't have been so difficult right the point here is you, you with this particular experiment over here it was a surprise to me when i learned this for the first time in my 11th standard well i didn't use fet or my teacher used something else so here you can see the magnet is present over here now this magnet has got certain magnetic lines you can see that now when these magnetic lines are going to cut this particular conductor you can see the bulb glowing do you want to see that see this this is what faraday's first law states it states that when magnetic field lines interact with the conductor it induces an emf emf is electromotive force which brings current into the circuit and the bulb glows nice na no? so if i want to have another one so it it also states that when when the number of turns or the length of the wire is more the emf induced is more if it is less it's less you can see the bulb is not glowing bright but here in this case it's glowing bright yeah now 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 let me get the voltmeter as well you can see the fluctuation see and similarly here so based on this a lesson plan of faraday's law which you actually wrote as three periods most of you would have definitely written a minimum of three periods for faraday's law got covered in 3 minutes don't you think so now the understanding of the students became just better a little bit with respect to physics faraday's law and over the period of time the students can also use this it's just not about a teacher sharing the screen and doing it you can give the link to the students and they can also start practicing on it yeah some of these now 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 english and social studies teacher science is also interesting i think i could have i could have done this yeah let let me come to the next uh, website teachers so these are some of the websites which is responsible for do you know the term you can search with the term called as simulations another website again some of you might have used this called as olabs.edu.in now olabs.edu.in is a classic website by amrita vishwavidya peetam i think some of you might know about this educational institution amrita nandamai there used to be one lady called as i mean she used to be called as amma and all here in kerala yeah one old lady so anyway she has got a very big institution called as amritanandamai educational group and and they have got lots and lots of educational resources online for free yeah it's funded by uh, various different organizations and here olaps is funded by cdac cdac it's a mumbai based organization uh, and mostly uh, it's approved by ministry of electronics and information technology government and it's completely free of cost and when you come to this particular website called as olabs.edu.in again it's for physics chemistry biology maths and we have english as well i'll show some of the components over here now what you're supposed to do is suppose if i click on physics yeah uh most of you might remember uh, this and in, in fact some of you are teaching so you might know this um what is that extra notebook that the students buy when they come to 9th standard 
what is that extra notebook that the student buy when they come to ninth standard? Yeah, same. What, what do they buy? They buy record notebooks. You remember? Yeah, they buy record notebooks. It's a very fascinating thing because for the first time, their handwriting becomes good. Their drawing becomes more interesting. I'm talking about experiments that happen in the lab. The students come to the lab and there are fixed experiments by CBSE, which the teachers actually perform in the lab. Now, those experiments are brought out to you by olabs.edu.in. Now, here, if you come, this is actually from class 9 to class 12. So, so you can see that class 9 is present over here, then class 10, class 11, class 12. Now, here, what happens is all these experiments are virtually done. Suppose if the students are not able to come to school and if they want to learn about whatever experiments are prescribed to them, they can come to this website and you have the aim. You ask the students to write the aim, right? The theory. Yeah, you can come down learning outcomes. You also irritate them by saying that write the procedure and materials required, real lab procedure and everything over here. And you have the observations, observation table, and some of you have an instruction, put it on the left side, put it on the right side and things like that. Interesting, right? The, all the experiments, ready-made stuff is present over here with OLABS. But what's so interesting about it? The interesting part is this area called as a simulator. The moment I come to simulator teachers, you'll find that there is a separate area over here, you know, which get loaded like this. You can perform this experiment, Pavitra, ma'am. What you're supposed to do is you just have to click on this wire. You know, I have to join this like this. See this? Are you able to see this? That's it. That's it. So when you do this, just like the way you're doing this in the lab, I'm connecting the wires over here. Uh-huh. I did that. And, and you remember what is this? This is called as a connect the resistance. Okay. Resistance wire. I come and put it over here. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. And I have the key over here. I drop the key. That's it. The moment I drop the key, you can see there's a reading on ammeter and voltmeter. And you have this rheostat. I move it left and right. Have you used this rheostat? Yeah. No. Yes. It's a superb machine. Basically, you know, it really feels good when you just move it up and down. You can play with it in school science lab. Make sure you break one of them. Yeah. You'll, you'll learn a lot. <laughs> this is rheostat uh, to increase or decrease the resistance. And you have voltage, current, and resistance. So you just have to make a note of all the readings depending upon different resistance. Yeah, then V equal to IR gets verified. Ohm's law is verified. This is the best part of OLAPS. Suppose if a student wants to, you know, even after reopening of the school, if they have done an experiment in the school and they would like to reinforce a concept by coming back home, they don't need to bring all the materials. They can simply come to OLAPS and they can practice the same thing. Nice, now. So here again, if you click on animation, uh, you have proper instructions on how to do it. I'll play this video for some 30 seconds. You'll get an idea. Watch this. Uh, share sound. Okay. Yeah. Ohm's law. Our aim is to determine the resistance per centimeter of a given wire by plotting a graph of potential battery, one-way key, measuring scale and resistance wire. Procedure Connect the positive terminal of a battery to the positive terminal is connected to the upper terminal of the rheostat using a piece of wire. So here in this case, you can actually see that you have the materials present over here. The instructions are given and you also have the circuit diagram over here. The students get to understand what's there on the notebook, what's actually there on, you know, their lab. And finally, they can even perform that particular experiment using the simulator over there. I hope everybody got an idea, teachers. Pretty simple. Yeah. So you can actually try OLABS and then this is like the loop. a really classic way of, uh, you know, engaging the students with uh, uh, virtual lab experiments i really like this so right after animation you have simulator then then if you want to know the real life video how it looks like you can actually watch the video and of course viva questions 
yeah you already uh, you know if, i think you have some five marks or 10 marks for this viva questions are also present i really like this so you can go to resources and you can know more about it and then the feedback so in this way you have for all the experiments related to physics chemistry biology maths and english so if i if i click on english let me quickly show one or two experiments on english uh, say for example propositions learning propositions of locations i click on this you have got theory common mistakes procedure lab viva etc etc and you have got the definition of propositions that's awesome now this is not for class 9 10 11 12 it's not categorized that categorization has happened only for physics chemistry and biology uh, not for english so if you come over here uh, if a teacher finds this quite appropriate for fourth standard or fifth standard they can still use it after looking into the complete theory you have the lab come and click on lab after clicking on lab you will get to see this option called as exercise ball in the living room we we are talking about prepositions of positions right so you come this so right after coming over here you will you will get kind of table in which um, a picture basically in which you have to drag and drop the ball and and it will give you some statements it will say that put the ball on the table so you have to drag and put the ball on the table uh, if there is a sofa like put the ball on the sofa so you'll have to put the ball on the sofa so far so in a similar note all these things happen and uh, why is it not getting loaded just just one second let it get loaded so for just like the way we did experiments on uh, science we have it for english as well here we go i'm ready i click on start yeah yeah so i'm just keeping the instruction i have already given the instruction put the ball on the sofa you can see the sofa right i drag and put the ball over here congratulations your answer is correct see the next question okay here we go place the ball between the wall painting and the clock okay probably this is the wall painting and the clock but but let me put it over here portrait this is not the correct question currently the ball is between the family portrait and the clock so it even tells us the wrong statements so you get to discuss lots and lots of information using olabs.edu done two websites fet olabs.edu.in yeah most of you i don't know how many of you use this but yeah this is really important for you to know you'll definitely enjoy more than you the students will start enjoying the class do you really think they'll get up and go i don't think so i'll show you one more interesting website this is called as desmos.com for all the maths teachers out there you will love this now desmos.com is is like another uh, level of uh, i should say blackboard I really like Blackboard. I'm just opening. See, right after coming over here, Math Tools, you open Graphing Calculator, and you open Geometry Tool. Yeah, there are a lot other things as well. Matrix, Test Practice. We can try this little later. And even during the training program, we cover all of these things in much more detail. Right now, I'm just giving you an introduction, and I'm not really teaching on how to use this. Uh, because we don't have time i want to cover as many websites as possible during the time that you are available with me right now so here you can see that uh, there's a graphing calculator and this is one of the best eye openers for all the students and what do we mean by eye openers see there was one time when all the students or including me or you but have thought that there is a separate branch called as algebra there is a separate branch called as geometry trigonometry mensuration and things like that now all these though they are different branches they all talk about one thing in common that the students can understand with this particular tool suppose if i write an equation called as x plus y equal to 5 now according to the textbook or according to a maths teacher x plus y equal to 5 is an equation and as the degree is 1 it's called as a linear equation but when a student is coming and plotting it over here he will understand that a linear equation is called as a linear equation because it actually forms a straight line on a graph it's kind of a realization everything that the student write on a piece of paper calling that to be algebraic expression or equation it represents some kind of a geometrical figure on a graph let's let's try with one more thing i i just go x i write x square plus uh, say y square okay equal to 8 see the moment i type an equation x square plus y square equal to 8 it actually represents a circle indirectly a teacher can say that whenever degree of an equation is more than 1 
it is not a straight line and that's why it's not called as linear equation it's called as quadratic equation it has got four solutions i don't i don't know what you say but anyways this is how it happens so graphing calculator is another fantastic method with which the student get visualization of mathematics i really love this this desmos has also got this another feature over here a plain area kind of a white board where you can actually draw a circle yeah if if anybody would like to draw the radius of the circle yeah radius done if you want to even measure that we can do that you just have to select it and label it you got the measurement it's a, it's approximately 2.6 that's great right even you can change the color of it suppose if i have want to draw some kind of a cyclic quadrilateral i i just do this i do this see that's it as simple as that here you can see on the left side there are some instructions present now when do we verify that a cyclic quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral when the sum of opposite angles are supplementary right opposite angles are 180 degree i click on angle and i measure it choose a point on one leg choose a point on vertex and choose a point here yeah, 98 degrees so this should be 82 98 82 it's 180 degrees it's proved it's a cyclic quadrilateral if i have to draw another line segment and suppose if i have to draw a parallel line i can click on that i bring it over here i click on another line now this is a transversal i i just measure alternate interior angles they should be equal as they are parallel lines okay i'm sorry i have to go back i click on angle i do this i go and click on vertex and this is 130 130 so more than the black board you know this could be one of the boards that you could use with the students this is with respect to mathematics now let me come to some of the social studies teachers uh, before going ahead am i being very fast yeah yeah na thoda bahut little bit no you're fine okay anyways suppose if you are okay with this no problem i'll continue with the same pace but just if i'm being very fast don't mis don't mistake me i'm trying to cover as many topics as possible let me repeat it i'm not trying to teach anything i'm just going to show you things i would like to request everyone to please visit this website called as superteacher.in i'm not trying to advertise uh, but just want you to compare what are the content they have written over there and and what will be covered during the training program and you can also get to know the price of the whole program don't worry whatever is mentioned is not the price we can have multiple conversation and let me quickly go to the website back again i was calling social studies teacher you remember yeah so let me go to this website called as google earth how many of you have used google earth have you yes no you can put it on the chat okay yeah google earth is another uh, you know fascinating website there are lots and lots of information with respect to google earth you are going to get mesmerized right now if you haven't used it now google earth uh, is is a place wherein uh, a teacher can take the students to a particular location of the topic now if if kalpana ma'am suppose if kalpana ma'am is is one of the teachers of social studies and she's talking about mughal dynasty today she can actually take the students to all those monuments she can take them to taj mahal she can talk about shah jahan or or if she's talking about mountains himalayas and you know plains and plateaus she can actually take the students there now what do we mean by taking the students there there's a technical term involved over here called as virtual field trip virtual field trip is a classic way of getting a students attention by having an immersive learning now what do you mean by immersive learning having uh an students come to the surrounding of the topic is called as immersive learning now sometimes some of the maths or science teachers would have taken the students to the garden to talk about the difference between a plant and a tree i do not know how many of you have done this my teacher when i was in second or third standard they wanted to talk about plants they asked me to take the people leaf people ka patta they call it put it inside the notebook yeah uh and keep it for a long time and after you know some days when you open that it becomes brown in color so that green color pigment pigment which got lost is called as chlorophyll you know this is how my teacher used to talk about so here in this case it's called as immersive learning to get the students or learner inside of a particular topic right like why are we talking about it we are talking about it because i'm going to talk about google earth so here in this google earth the moment you open it this is how it will look like see yeah and and if you want to take the students to certain location you can actually take them over there so suppose 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 so this is india uh like if you want to go to any place teachers you can put it on the chat would you like to do that let me let me take first place to char minar i, I come monument in hyderabad the moment i click on char minar it will actually take me to that particular location so suppose if there is a topic on char minar get the students there see 
look at the way how charmina looks so beautiful from here i can zoom in i can you know just use the scroll button and zoom in and the best part is this is the best part watch this carefully there is one person over here can you see at the right side a small guy kind of a thing a doll kind of a thing it's called a peg man p e g m a n you just have to drag that peg man and drop him right in the areas wherever there is blue color lines or dots the moment you do that it will appear as if you are there right below the charminar see can you see that see you're all at home but at the same time you're at charminar as well do you know this lady i don't know it's kind of a ghost <laughs> you see sometimes the photos might be like a ghost you can see that see this this guy doesn't have legs that's okay no problem this is called as this is called as a 360 degree image teachers and you're right below charminar and if you're talking about mughal empire or you know their constructions and so you can talk about they have arch like a thing they have they have uh, you know uh, inscriptions inscriptions you call that in in arabic or urdu and all you can take the students to that particular location let's come back a little bit and go to another location i am i'm just dragging and let me drop the person somewhere over here let's see if i can have a good view absolutely i'm having a good view oh perfect see charminar is a fantastic area see this guy saying hi i don't know who he is he's with the family <laughs> but we are concerned with charminar so here we go nice na so you can go window shopping like this nemra and it's a cafe anyways and these are some of the arrow marks which you click it will you know take you on a walk to different locations see there's a mall nearby hyderabad center central mall okay okay you got that okay this is the same guy so this guy he is having a, a 360 degree camera and using that he is continuously taking photos and that's the reason you are able to look around and go to different locations yeah anyways so that's with respect to uh, this area do you want to go to any other location teachers you can put it on the chat no come on you can tell any part of the world in the meanwhile let me take you to taj mahal as well you can put it on the chat which location would you like to go to taj mahal okay lakshmi ma'am we are going to taj mahal himalayas okay right husain sagar okay let's go to husain sagar as well a little later so this is this is taj mahal right now and you can see that it's there right over here i can use the peg man and drop him right over here wherever the blue lines are present you remember the moment we do that it will take me to that location as if it's there right in front of me see this there's some construction also going on nice na just imagine if you talk about shah jahan if you talk about uh, the mughal dynasty and if you talk about taj mahal how beautiful it would be if taj mahal is right in front of you the students will be more immersive see they have got this inscriptions you can talk about it it's all mentioned in the history textbook it's not something it's not there so it's already there and that's the reason we are looking at this you can you can roam around you can see this you can keep clicking on this arrow mark to know more about the places it's like taking a walk over there okay any other location any other location i can see yeah you can find heat zones as well i feel tar lakshmi ma'am okay let's go to i feel tar Yeah, so I go to Eiffel Tower. This is France. That's the last location, and then we'll play a small game. The moment I do this, it'll actually take me to Eiffel Tower in this particular way. So you can see the way the globe is also getting rotated, and here we are. See, you're able to see the Eiffel Tower. Absolutely. Now here again, I can just move in all different directions, and I can talk to the students. I really like Google Earth. now right after i filter suppose if you want to feel as if you're there drag the peg man drop him at a particular location and let's see if we get some kind of a view i think we should be able to get it let me drop him somewhere over here yeah okay okay i i came on, on, under a subway <laughs> I'm not supposed to be under the subway. I need to go back. I come back. I come back. I come back. Come on, I go over there and and let let's be on the water rather than that. Let me see if I get some good view. I'm there on the water. I think I'm there on the boat. Perfect, perfect. And this is Eiffel Tower. Nice, right? Here you here you have a boat and and you can see people around inside. 
this is fantastic i really like this i hope you got a picture teachers again you have another option called as voyager and in voyager you have got lots of options over here there are some games present over there so some like this one game called as quiz animal calls i'll quickly play this you'll get an idea what it is all about and you'll get to know lots of information okay so let me click on let's go and suppose if there are primary teachers would like to talk to the students here we go which creature makes a sound when it's on the move can you hear that tell me teachers you can put the answers on the chat i'll repeat this is it horse donkey giraffe okay horse i'll click on horse or is the right answer you can see that visited to the national no natural region park of monte lucretoli in the italian countryside might just see horses see the moment you give the right answer it will take you to the location where you can actually find the horses let's go to the next question one more question listen to this very carefully which pack animal makes this guttural cry <laughs> Lama camel yak Lama camel yak Camel dina Let's let's click on camel Camel is the right answer absolutely the sound was made by a dromedary the camel species with only one hump it goes over there and i can see camel for real can i see camel for real with only one hump it goes over there and i can see camel for real can i see camel for real yeah i can look at this these guys look at you this guy is even smiling a little bit i go to the next question last question which wild animal makes a grunting noise like this <laughs> it cannot be wild pig <laughs> everybody is right pig is the right answer the moment i click on it it will take me to a place where i can see pigs let's see can i see pigs yes 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 it gets loaded and this is pink pig in so clear water just imagine In India, we have pigs not in so clear water. Yeah, when pigs are present, we consider that area to be dirty. But here, pigs and human beings are together. Well, that that's 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 Europe for you. Yeah. Anyway, let me stop share the screen for a few seconds. Did you get an idea, teachers? Now, let me tell you something. Whatever we are talking about, see, apart from uh, the categorization of subjects, it's very important for all the teachers out there to understand that. Mm, subjects can actually never be disintegrated, Pavitra. See, when we talk about uh, Shamla, ma'am, or or Vinny, or or uh, you know Jalpa or Archana, if they are from different subjects, they all can you know sit together and try to talk things that are common to each other. Say, for example, if Pramila, ma'am, is a geography teacher and she is teaching about low tides and high tides in the school right now. now it will have direct relationship with a science teacher who's going to talk about low pressure and high pressure it's all one and the same if a social studies is a teacher is talking about uh, day time and night time how the wind is especially in the coastal area so things like that uh, rama ma'am who is a science teacher might talk something related to temperature there's going to be direct relationship suppose if a max teacher would like to talk about triangles she can use google earth to talk about i filter it's a triangular in structure and triangle when it is viewed in 3d mode it's kind of a pyramid the point here is subjects can never be disintegrated why am i talking about this i'm talking about this because tomorrow if you want to relate google earth to your subject you can do it in any way it's not that google earth is uh, taken by only social studies teacher it's like unka hi hai aisa kuch nahi hai there's nothing like that even you or with whatever subjects you come from you can make use of it so always make sure that uh, just assume that you will not have a ready made resource for your subject ever in your life just just assume that if you have that kind of an attitude you will be like able to use any kind of tool for any subject see what do we do generally we use a knife we buy a knife either to cut uh, you know the vegetables that are present at home or sometimes out of anger just stab someone who is nearby you especially your spouse or your children no not children you don't do that harsh have you used these wooden stick these uh, teachers i mean wooden scale back in those days you used to have those wooden scale uh, the teachers used to actually use it to beat the students whereas the purpose of scale was to actually draw a line so the point here is you you are the tool that you're going to use online it could be used the way you want to use it yeah let me let me come back to some more uh, you know subjects over here uh huh here we go i the course that we are going to do i mean during the training at the same time i just wanted to give you this impression this particular place mathplayground.com is a fantastic web website for primary class students or teachers it it consists of maths games so you can just select any one particular grade i'm randomly selecting a grade called as grade 2 
and i click on the game and you can watch this skill building educational games so i click on play and this is me and uh, i click on no i don't want to create a game i click on play now create game you can even put numbers you can you can make a question paper so suppose let me be the red team i click on start the moment i click on start yeah this is how it gets started you can see that the question over here 10 plus 12 22 the moment i do this the boat comes a little forward 11 plus 39 49 50 27 8 78 did you see that in this particular way? <laughs> okay, 66 plus 29. Okay, this is a second standard tough question. I do not know what to do now. 30, uh, 97. No, right? Oh, I got 95. I'm very poor at it. Okay, anyways, one or two. 40, 36, 39, somewhere 15, 75. So in this way, I can keep playing this. Let me complete this game. You'll get this. 45, 39, 14. 11 questions. Again, 114. Three games are really addictive, you know. I feel like continuing this for a long time. Eight plus three, eleven. So seventy-one. No, it should be this. Okay. Uh, come on. I need to be first. Nine plus seven, sixteen. Seven plus two, nine. Where is nine? This is fun, teachers. I do not know if you are using this. You should definitely use this. Six plus five, eleven. And it's going to get completed. Two more questions. And this is eight. Perfect. 20. Okay. That's okay. So in this way, the students will get motivated to play the game, simultaneously learn addition. That's a nice thing. So rather than one way of having an assessment, this could be another way of having an assessment. So the students will have fun. Math Playground is a fantastic website. Similarly, there's one more called as Brain Pop Junior. Heard about Brain Pop Junior? It's again, you know, for pre-primary and primary students and, and you have got lots of information over here. Brain Pop Junior talks about, again, gamification of all the topics out there. It's just not for maths, it's for science, it's for reading, writing, English as well. And you've got good content over here. I really like this. Suppose if I click on reading and writing, you have such kind of content coming up over here. Okay, it's, yeah, this is how it is. So suppose if the students want to, you want the students to build their reading skills, click on reading skills. And you have got the videos present over here. Yeah, choosing a book, facts and opinions, library, reading notification. So Brain Pop Junior is another very big website for primary class students for the teachers to use on all different subjects. So I think uh, all the teachers out there, you have to explore this. There's something called as uh, they also have a video like this. See, watch this. Okay. Oh, I did not log in. So if I log in, so you have to log in for this. Yeah. Teachers, one more thing as the login thing has come here, I should tell this to you. Whatever websites that we are going to cover during the training program or whatever I'm covering right now, all these does not incur any cost. These are all free of cost, uh, free and open resources. So we have made sure that during the training program, there are three criteria that are kept in mind. The first one and the most important that it is completely free of cost. You don't really have to pay anything to use it or access it. Of course, there are some websites where it has got some premium features, but majority of it is completely free. So you don't have to go for premium. Only free version is sufficient enough for lifelong. If one of you is like some of you is like really rich and I'm like, it's okay to spend some 3,000, 4,000 rupees a year. I'm okay with that. Just like the way you subscribe for Amazon Prime Video or something like that, you can subscribe to some of these websites as well. But it's completely free, most of it, 99%. The second thing that we have kept in mind is all these websites, again, 99% of these websites will work on all the devices. That means it should be able to work on iPad, it should be able to work on desktop, it should be able to work on laptop, and even on your mobile phone. And the third and the most important, which I feel to be the most important because it's called as user friendliness. With respect to these websites, you don't really have to learn an extra skill. I mean, my father asked me, do I have to go for a computer class to understand how these work? No, you don't really have to. In the training program itself, we will cover everything, first point. And secondly, even tomorrow, if you're not there with you, you will be able to access these without any difficulty. So the first one was cost effectiveness, no cost involved. Second thing is platform independence. It can work on any operating system or device. And the third is user friendliness. Yeah, you'll definitely love it and you'll understand over the period of time. So right after Brain Pop Junior, let's go to another website. Now, this particular thing is going to be interesting. Let me stop, share the screen.
yeah so i would like to request all the teachers to please um uh, you know uh, look into the super teacher website to know about the pricing and all those details considering this to be a workshop right now i don't really want to discuss the pricing depending upon a school scenario if a principal is there out and would like to have their teachers trained completely uh you can one second i'm i'm going to echo Yes, perfect. So uh, suppose if a school principal is there and if there are more number of teachers, depending on the number of teachers, we can have an effective price, which could be much lesser than whatever price is mentioned on the website. And trust me, this kind of training for 21 hours, you will not get at this price at all. We are we are ensuring that this is COVID times and, and we are being very empathetic and understanding that this is not the time to make business. But at the same time, help as much as possible and that is the reason all these sundays you know every sunday we conduct workshop like this and we talk about various different resources you can actually come to our page and you can figure out uh, you know all these things happen we have our page called as uh, super teacher official youtube channel yeah when you go there you'll you'll come to know that every sunday all such workshops happen and that's the reason we are not charging high also you'll completely understand that i'll request you to please compare our training program with others in case if there is any you will get an understanding that it is worth visiting super teacher yeah let me let me show you something and now everybody will be like wow would you like to smile you're all very serious for a long time yeah would you like to smile no yeah okay let me just quickly show you something what is the buzzword in the industry teachers right now buzzword in the industries means any idea buzzword means everybody talk, talks about it the most common uh, thing right now that everybody's talking about is, Saira, make me the co-host on the other number. I'm, I'm joined as Vasudev and Atrajan one more time. Sure, sure. Yeah. So uh, the buzzword in the industry right now with respect to education, Nirupa, ma'am, is, is, is actually augmented reality and virtual reality. Heard about it? AR, VR. So we have a separate, no, not that. I'll tell you what AR, VR is. Uh, okay. Before giving AR, VR example on my mobile phone. Thanks, man. So here we go. I just, uh, have you seen students doing all these things? Having a glass? No? You know, how about this? No, I'm making fun of myself. How about a mask? Haven't you seen this? How about this? This is proper pig. And it suits me. Yeah, it's cute, but how about this? It's, it's for a girl or something like that. Yeah, whatever you're looking at right now is 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 a computer is able to understand that this is my eyes and this is my head and it's it's giving such kind of filters. You would have used this in Snapchat, Instagram, or Facebook. I do not know if you're using all of these things. Yeah, this is quite girly, and I'm not going to insult myself more. <laughs> Anyways, so these things are actually not virtual background. These are called as augmented reality. Augmented reality means exaggerating your surrounding. Now, what is this? I am there present over here and this is real. You can see I have a headphones, I have a glass and I have a watch. But if I add another layer of information on this reality, it's called as augmented reality. What do you mean by augmentation? Exaggeration. You know, it generally happens uh, whenever you cook food at your house, whenever you cook food and if the salt is less, so your husband would have told you a small thing. Aaj thoda namak kam ho gaya, a little less salt. That's it. You're done. You will kill him. You'll be like, can't you adjust and things like that? You exaggerate that to another level. This exaggeration is called as augmentation. Now, did you understand what augmented reality is? Anyways, let me show you some of the features of augmented reality. If you're using NCRT books or, you know, now most of the books have already started doing this. I'm sharing my mobile phone and I'm going to show you one mobile application called as ePartshala AR. Make a note of it. Make a note of it. ePartshala AR is one fantastic application on which you can have AR for all the content that's there in your textbook. Now, what do we mean by that? The moment you open this application, you have to select the class. As of now, I have ninth standard and 10th standard. I'm selecting ninth. I'm selecting subject, say biology. I'm selecting chapter, say chapter five. I'm selecting topic, say figure 5.2. Yeah. The moment I do this, the only prerequisite that what is required for this app is your textbook. So I am having the textbook with me. Yeah, it's just one lesson. And that's why I chose that. And I click on go. The moment I do this, I have to go to that particular, uh, you know, picture. See, so this is chapter number five. And right after that, this is figure 5.1. 
I have to go to figure 5.2. The moment I scan this, what is the cells of an onion peel? The moment I scan it, automatically you will get an onion peel over here. See how nice it is. Okay, this is my comb. I'm just throwing it away. Now the best part, you're going to smile. Watch this. The moment I touch on that, it will perform the experiment that you do in the lab. Have you done this experiment where you watch the cells of an onion peel? See this. I'm just tapping every time. There's an instruction at the back end. And the moment I touch it, it will remove the peel like this. Yeah, it will put it on the glass slide. You call this a slide, right? Yeah, I click on the glass slide once more. And it has to put some kind of a pink liquid. What is that called as? You can put it on the chat. What is it called as? Potassium per magnet? No. What is it called as? Come on, teachers. You know that. Science teachers, biology teachers, help me. Let me drop that. Ah, that's called a saffronine. You're right. See, this is how that dropper is. And right after that, when I click it, I have the watch glass that's that's kept over there. It's put on the microscope. I go to the top of the microscope and I click on it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm able to see the cell. Awesome, right? So just like the way I do it in a real lab, I'm able to watch the structure. This is the view inside the microscope. I come back. I come back. And this is how it is. I click on go back again. So the moment we scan this image, I get the onion and I keep performing this experiment one by one. Now to get the picture. Shall we look into one more picture like this? Yeah. Shall we do that? So let me go back and select another picture rather than figure 5.2. How about figure 5.5? I click on go. Okay. That's an animal cell. I'm searching for figure 5.5. This is 5.3. And uh, this is 5.4 and this is 5.5. See, I've got the onion. Uh, no, this is not onion. Uh, this is not onion. This is animal cell. Yeah, <laughs> this is animal cell. Absolutely. And here you can see on the right side, you have got the labels, nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, lyosomes, vacuoles. You have got the label on the right side. And, and uh, yeah, you can see everything over here. I did not like biology back in those days, but when I looked into it, I was like, if this had been there during my time today, I would have been a biologist or a doctor. I don't know. So say, for example, I click on one particular thing of that uh, label. This is, this is mitochondria. I can see that alone. If I click on lyosomes, okay, these are lyosomes. If I click on centrioles, okay, this is how centriole looks like. I click on back. I get inside the cell. See, I'm literally inside a cell. So in this way, you can have an immersive experience with respect to different topics based on augmented reality. This is nice. You should definitely like this. <laughs> so I would like to request all the teachers out there to please try out ePartshala AR. Again, this is a completely free tool and it was launched by Government of India in 2019. And when they did that, at the time, the number of images was very less. They are updating it regularly. The app gets updated. Over the period of time for all the other subjects as well, they will have augmented reality versions. So until then, until then you have to wait. Unfortunately, COVID has come. So it's only for ninth and 10th as of now and only for science. Then, then let's wait for social and English. It will eventually come. It's not important for us to know how to use this. More important, it's, it's, no, it's, it's to know that there is something like this, you know, an awareness about it. The day when you know that, yeah, there is something like this, your mind will be much more open to learning. Let me let me show you a few more applications. Uh, one of these applications will be used right after the session. Of course, you would have been using this as well. I'm going to show something called as expeditions. You know about expeditions? Yeah. Now, expeditions is a classic way of, of you know, uh, having augmented and virtual reality teachers, Google expeditions. Now, suppose uh, on the top itself, you have this option called as AR, VR. I click on AR. Now, there is something called as cell organelles. I have downloaded that. Forensics, camouflage, gears, coral. See, there are so many things. And irrespective of whatever subject it belongs to, you have all of these things present over here. Now, there is something called as a scarlet letter. Let me click on this. I have to click on download. There's something called a scarlet. What is this? The story focuses on a woman in 17th century who is exiled. Ah, oh, no, no, I don't know. It looks like a meteor or meteorite. That's why I opened this. Let's go to solar system. Shall we do that? Or ionic theory. I'll go to ionic theory. I really like this. Oh, it's a novel, Anindatamam. I didn't know. 
I'm sorry. I click on view in AR. The moment I click on view in AR teachers, all I need to have is a good surrounding. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm just using my bed right now. Okay. And please understand. I click on tap. The moment I tap, you can see that this is inside of an atom. You can see that that cloud kind of a thing. You have protons and neutrons present over there and outside whatever is roaming around is called as electrons. And, and we have been drawing this protons, neutrons and electrons on the board in a circular manner. It's more of a sphere. You'll get to understand that. Let me go to the next slide. So the best part is here in Google Expedition, you also have an explanation right at the bottom. This is electron cloud. Look at this so beautiful. At the bottom, you have the explanation of it. The behavior of an element is affected primarily by the number of electrons. Do you see that? I'll go to the next one. Nucleus. Okay, that's nucleus. Awesome, right? Just imagine, I do not know how many of you hate chemistry. Yeah, I did a lot. I, I really hate chemistry to a large extent, but not, not anymore. Now, the first one over here, it's uranium. I hope you were able to see this. Right after that, you have gold. See, see the bond, how strong it is. And then you have hydrogen. Can you see hydrogen? It's getting camouflaged on my bed sheet, but still. Okay, let me go very close. You're able to see that. That's hydrogen. So you can keep talking like this, teachers. Google expeditions. Uh, you know, it can it can go. So this this is a live class that's happening right now. You're all my students. I'm your teacher. Just just assume that, and I'm able to show you augmented reality live right now. Suppose if you want to be part of an augmented reality, it's pretty simple. You just have to be there in the camera. Shall we do just one more experiment? Uh, teachers, you should actually watch this fertilization and pregnancy. Uh, you know, you'll really love it. Uh, let me not show it right now, but fertilization pregnancy, this augmented reality by Google expeditions, fantastic job. You know, you'll really feel that. Then you have skeletal system. Let me have skeletal system over here. Yeah, and I would be part of the skeleton right now. Let me let me show you. We just have to click on view in AR. And here comes the skeleton. Oh, this guy is big. Now, all I have to do is just be like this. Are you able to see this? So a teacher can be part of the skeleton like this and you can show your hands and talk about it one by one. And, and generally people have human beings along with them in the house. I live with some skeletons. How about that? No, <laughs> you can talk about it as much as you want teachers. I can, I can just increase the size. I can put it up, put it down. Whew. This is good. Then only the skull. And this is going to be a little scary. Ah. Oh. I'm coming back. Anyways, I'm coming back. This is expeditions and you can look into it. Nice, no? So uh, whatever subject you belong to, expeditions will have uh, very good relevance. So I, I request everyone to actually look into it. And right after that, let me not further continue on the mobile phone. There are so many things I have to show you. But during the training program, I'll definitely talk about it. Uh, I'm not getting time. It's already 12 o'clock. It's already one hour. I didn't, didn't even realize. I'm so sorry. So one more important thing, teachers, and this is going to be really fun. Now for this, I request your participation. Will you participate? Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send one link on the chat. Okay. The moment I send the link on the chat, you have to click on it. It will take you to a new window, a separate window. Enter your name and click on join lesson. Yeah. Very simple. A link right after clicking on the link, it will take you to a new window. I will send. Only I will send, okay? Like uh, from Vasudevan and Rajan, you will get that. So the moment I send that, you have to click on that link. It will take you to a new window. Enter your name and click on join lesson. Here we go. Now this particular activity, you will never forget in your life. This is one of the best tools I've ever used in, in on internet. I should say on internet. Never ever I have used, you know, something better than this. So I click on this. Here we go. The link is going to be there on the chat in another 10 seconds, not more than that, I guess. Yeah, 10 seconds, not even 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. You got that. Click on the link, teachers. The link is there on the chat. I would like to request everyone to click on the link that's there on the chat. Yeah, just click it. The moment you click on it, it'll take you to a new window. Suppose if you're using a your mobile phone, it'll ask for you to download application. You can download it or else you can continue to website. Anything is fine. Yeah, I hope everybody's able to see the link. I'm, I'm sending the same link once more. Click on the link. It will take you to a new window. Enter your name. 
and click on join lesson. Don't write your name over here. You have to write the name after clicking the link in a separate page. If it is not getting opened in a separate page, just copy paste the link that is given over here now. So super teacher is also sending the same link. Okay, I'll, I, I request everyone to click on the link and enter your name. Let me see how many of you have joined the lesson so far. Three people have already joined properly. Uh, no, 33 people, Aisha, Bhargavi, Deena, Divya, Hidayat, Emmanuel, Indra, Lavanya, Leela, Nalini, Nirupa, Poonam, Pramila. Okay, Priyadarshini, Rehmat, Rajasri, Rehana, Reshma, Ruchi, Santoshini, Sheikh, Shaujanya, Sarita, Shamla, Shrikala. Come on, teachers. The moment you click on the link and the moment you join the lesson, you will see that you're there underwater. Tahira, 76 people have joined. Vishwa, Zaiba. Perfect, perfect. Come on, teachers. Keep joining. Keep joining. Click on the link. It will take you to a new window. And right after that, right after that, enter your name and click on join lesson. Are you underwater? Most of you? If you're there underwater, just, just try to move the screen left and right. If you try to move the screen left and right, you'll get an understanding as if you're there inside water. It's kind of virtual reality. But that's not what I'm trying to say over here. Something more interesting is on the way. Yeah. I hope everybody did that. How many of you have? 96 people have joined. Vijeta, Yashoda, Zaiba, Vishwa, Vinni. Oh, fantastic. Talha, Tahira, Usha, Uma, Satya, Sushila, Sumita, Sucharita, Shrujana, Srilata, Sri Lakshmi, Shravanya. So many S people. Ruksana, Shailaja, Samira, Reshma. Rama, Raja, Rajashi, okay, Pramila, Pavan, Kiranmai, Mariamma, Manasi, Madhavi, Renuka, good job, 111 people, I'll wait for five more people to join, 115 people, I'll wait, I'll wait for five more people to join, and I'll start the chapter, keep joining teachers, the link is there on the chat, Pavitra ma'am, did you join? No? Okay, that's great. That's great. Vijaya, Tushar, Pramila, that's great. You are joined. Now, now comes the interesting part. Watch the screen. Now, suppose if I am a teacher, today I'm talking about a geography subject and I'm talking about coral reefs. Everybody be there on that screen, teachers. And, and you can move the screen left and right. So I talk about, uh, look at the person over there who is actually swimming over there. He's a scuba diver. He's able to understand what things are present below and he's able to breathe because of the oxygen cylinder that he has. Can you help me find out uh, one more scuba diver inside this water? Totally, how many are there? The moment I ask such kind of questions, the students will start exploring this picture in all different directions. And according to me right now, I think there are three scuba divers. One, two, three. I can see three of them. The students will be like, no, I'm able to see only one. Then they have to rotate the screen and figure out. In this way, a teacher can continuously talk on a particular topic and make sure there is a virtual reality. The best part is here, I am not sharing my screen. You are there in your own screen and every child is able to access the screen individually. That means whatever Pramila is do doing, it's not getting affected to Samira. Whatever Shrujana is doing, that is not affecting Pratiba. I hope everybody is able to understand. Now, now comes the interesting part. Suppose if a teacher has completed this slide and if they have to go to the next slide, teachers, you don't have to do anything. Watch this. The moment I change the slide on my computer, you can see that it automatically gets changed on your computer as well. Now I have brought you all to Taj Mahal. If I'm not wrong, everybody is there in Agra. Everybody's looking at that beautiful monument right in front of you. As a social teacher, I'm going to talk about the various architectural beauties of Mughal dynasty. I'm going to talk about this and simultaneously the students are going to have this virtual reality on their screen. The best part is the students can rotate the screen in all different directions without affecting their friends or the teacher. I hope everybody's getting an idea now. Yeah, now, now comes interesting part. Let, let's go to the next slide. Let, let's go to the next slide. I have seen Taj Mahal in all different directions. I spoke about it. The moment I come to the next slide, Okay, what is this? These are lungs. It's Sunday, lunchtime. For me, it looks like some chicken piece. I don't know. Maybe I'm hungry, but 
<laughs> i hope you don't mind so this is lungs and and when you talk about lungs as a topic you know you can see that uh, you can rotate this in all different directions yeah please do that use your fingers if you're there on mobile phone use your you know mouse and and try to rotate it in fact try to zoom it zoom it when you zoom it you can even go inside of the lungs and you can see how lungs actually look like from inside this is nice right i hope you're liking this teachers the best part is i am accessing your computer the more i'm controlling your computer partially if i don't want pavan kumar to sit in this slide for a long time what will i tell pavan kumar i don't have to say anything to pavan kumar i just have to change the slide on my computer it will automatically get changed now comes this part watch this the moment i change the slide right now you are all there in an external website right now that means using this particular software if a teacher wants to bring google earth if a teacher wants to bring uh, some kind of uh, math playground or or bbc english whatever it is they can bring that over here and show to the students so now you now you you all can play the game right now are you able to play the game right now it will just ask you to click here it will open the website and and there's a game that's getting started over there yeah i'll wait for some 5 more seconds 5 to 10 seconds and and right after entering your name you can start playing the game now as a teacher you can allow the students to play the games why because after a certain period of time if you change the slide automatically it will go off let me let me show you yes manjula ma'am i'm doing that right away i'm doing that right away got that you are all playing the game okay enough of games now enough of games now i change the slide the moment i change the slide it gets changed on your computer as well did it get changed absolutely it would have got changed and now you are all there in a place where you can see fet simulation it's getting loaded up slowly in this way i can arrange the complete chapter i'll repeat it in this way don't worry if you're not understanding don't worry if you're not able to join teachers the batches for this particular training starts from 14th june from 5 pm to 7 pm for 10 days you will definitely enjoy the training and you'll feel empowered now now right after fet simulation let me go to the next slide and this is the best part of this particular software you're all there in a place where you can watch a video right now without affecting other person are you able to see a video where you can see how does does an aeroplane fly is it getting loaded yeah play the video and tell me if it's playing or not you can just show me thumbs up uh huh uh huh that's great that's great the video is playing i can see that yeah see generally what do we do we actually share our screen and we play the video and the video gets stuck the students can can't really see that properly but in case of near pod i am not playing the video as a teacher but as a student you are all able to play the video there are two advantages the video is smooth and second advantage is mere ghar ka internet nahi use ho raha hai my internet is not getting used your internet is getting used right let me go to the next slide let me go to the next slide the moment i go to the next slide this is my favorite of neopod.com here in this case i have a question on the screen and i'll be able to see if my students are answering it or not what is the capital city of india the moment the question gets populated over there just answer it and don't do anything just answer it that's it you don't have to do anything and can i see some people answering it uh huh not yet yes i can see that i can see shri lakshmi deeksha sushila have already answered shravanya has answered vijaya has answered jonas joanna that's great harsha okay that's great i i can see nilima answered shilata answered okay there are two shilatas both have answered and i can see venkatesh still did not answer reshma still did not answer as a teacher i get to see how many questions you answered and how many you did not and i am in control of that you have to answer it there on near pod not here on the chat teachers and when you answer it over there i'll get to see it over here did you see that pramila ma'am answered okay let me change the slide okay the moment i change the slide this is interesting draw the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word scenery draw the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word scenery come on teachers 
start drawing and you know what the moment you start drawing i'll be able to see your pictures okay archana is in progress hidayat is in progress let me share the screen at this time if some of you are not able to see the screen you can see that wow nirupa ma'am that's a good drawing <laughs> who is this dadipya right that's a good drawing two mountains and a river over there uh huh okay vandana ma'am is strong she's not happy so she's erasing that see how fantastic it is as a teacher i get to see what each and everyone is doing right now ruchi mama has already drawn and even submitted just like rehmat <laughs> that's great talha has also submitted right now vishwa has done that shamla has done that Sa saida right saida mama has also done it who is this nalini good job you're doing a good diagram okay jyotsna is that a house or a mushroom <laughs> it looks beautiful most of you the moment i talk about scenery everybody is like a sun between two mountains uh huh oh shweta ma'am that's a beautiful taj mahal out there lovely lovely see how beautiful it is as a teacher i get to see what my students are doing i'm actually seeing all your computer screen right now vijeta ma'am has even colored the picture okay anindita that's a good house over there <laughs> yeah fantastic fantastic teachers i hope everybody is able to draw something uh, i can see that pavitra shayada then then harita leela some of you are not able to do it don't worry it's okay this much i'm changing the slide the moment i change the slide there's a small activity it is just a poll option don't you think such kind of teaching would be fun in the class you have to say yes or no put it on the put it on the near board chapter put it on the near board chapter i can see some of you have started responding don't you think such kind of teaching would be fun in the class perfect perfect <laughs> keep putting it aha uh -huh. i can see uh, shaujanya indra lavanya varalakshmi ruchi talha shayada everybody is answering it perfect perfect and the timer is also running in the meanwhile in the meanwhile i can click on this and i can click on end session the moment i, cl I click on end session it gets ended on your screen as well it gets ended on your screen as well that's it you are out of near pod now did you like it teachers say yes or no yeah and the best part of nearpod.com is that you get to do so many things uh, you know bring so many different aspects inside the classroom it's kind of your lesson planner for the future uh, this is the way it is going to be down the line after some time yeah it's going to be this way for sure and uh, once you get to understand how these devices get controlled uh you can become masters of technology that's all it's very simple and i'll definitely help you during the training program on how to effectively use this uh no team viewer uh team viewer is accessing your computer completely here i'll not be able to access your computer completely so it's like i'll be able to just see some part of it right but that's a good example smart of you to think about team viewer yeah i hope everybody got an understanding teachers this is how it actually works uh okay one last thing before i close and this is kind of an assessment tool and this is my favorite i always play with this for a long time this is one tool that makes my students tell that sir don't go let's have one more session yeah you will definitely feel like that after this would you like to see what i'm talking about i'm going to put a link on the chat right now click on the link it will take you to a new window enter your name and click on start can you see that can you see that teachers click on the link that's there on the this is the last thing teachers last 5 minutes of the day just click on the link it will take you to a new window yeah that's great enter your name and click on start i can see vandana deepa ruchi rajashree that's great everybody's joining keep joining keep joining click on the link it will take you to a new window enter your name and click on start the moment i click on start oh perfect perfect you can see some question paper appearing on the screen right now yeah start answering the questions one by one some of you might know this this is quizzes.com quizzes.com is one classic method of uh, you know entertaining the children make them sit in front of you faha ma'am is there on the top of the leaderboard with 990 points and then comes indira all of a sudden to the top with 1880 points right after that priyanka with 1840 points and there's a good competition between didipya indra and priyanka good job teachers keep answering the questions one by one whoever has joined 
I can see some around 100 people joined and working on it. Priyanka on top of the leaderboard with 2,720 points, followed by Lavanya and Didipia. And right after that, we have Indra Renuka. There's a massive change in the leaderboard with Ruchi coming onto the top with 2,580 points. Come on, teachers, keep working on it. Priyanka, be careful. You just answered a question wrong. Quizzes.com gives you a fantastic idea about what your students are doing right now. And that is why this is very, very interesting. Right now on the top of the leaderboard, we have Bhargavi with 3,580 points, followed by Renuka and Didipia. Come on, teachers. <laughs> this is quiz. Rajashree, okay, you're there on the top with 3,610 points, followed by Bhargavi. No, followed by Didipia. That's massive. I'm going to continue this for another 15 seconds and we'll close this. Bhagavi on top of the leaderboard with 4,490 points, followed by Rajashree. No, Farha. Okay, last five seconds, five. And then we have four, three, two, and one. The quiz is going to get ended. And right on your screen, you can watch this. The top three performers are... Hidayat in the third place, second in Barkavi, and the first person goes to Farha, Farha Mohani. For, congratulations to all the three teachers out there. Yeah, that, that's quizzes.com teachers, and this is a fantastic way. Do you want to see that, how it looks like? I'm sharing my screen. Watch this once. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, yeah, these are the students, Farha, Bhargavi, Hidayat, Ditipya, Shamla, Sumita. Yeah, so this is how you can actually have a look into it. So you can see the questions, you can see the answers. Lots of things are there. This is one of the best assessment tools that I've been using for a long time. Very, very smooth and silky, free of cost. What more do we want? I'm stopping the screen share right now. That's it, that's it. We have come to the end of the session, teachers. It's already one hour and 20 minutes, more than that kind of. I, I hope I did not bore you. I hope you got benefited out of the session. I wanted to cover lots and lots of websites, but yeah, with, with the available time, how much ever I was able to do, we, we, we tried to cover all of these things. Whatever websites that you have made a note of today, teachers, just try to use them today itself. You will remember this for a long time. You can definitely give your feedback on, on the Google form that's coming on the chat right now. Uh, there's an option. Hope you're enjoying the session. Provide your feedback. Uh, it'll be of great help. And simultaneously, if anybody would like to join the training program, there are a lot of the websites sites that we haven't covered um, you can actually look into super teacher website and and get back to us when you get back to us or give your details we will be able to get back to you and with the most affordable price with long lasting relationship we will ensure that your life becomes very smooth with the usage of technology it's 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 like all of a sudden this thing has come we will make sure that it's really happening and and you're happy with uh, all these resources and tools will that be fine yeah yeah, visit the website, teachers. I'll talk to you soon. Very uh, like back again. You can you can know about us more from superteacher.in website. You can also visit our page, YouTube channel. Uh, what am I? Super Teacher Official. Subscribe to that. You'll get regular notification and all the videos. If you want to access this particular video, some of you might feel that uh, I want to uh, you know look into Google Earth again. If anybody is like that, go to YouTube and watch the same video again. You'll be able to see yourself. We, we are actually making this YouTube live. So you're all being looked at many people on YouTube as well right now. So you can watch the YouTube video once more and get an insight of what we discussed. This is going to be there all the time over there. So everything is covered. Yeah, almost. So there are a lot of other resources in various different languages. I, I could not uh, actually talk about regional languages, how to type in Telugu or how to read Telugu, how to translate a English document to Telugu and things like that. I could not get much time. So I'll do that in the next video or you can see some other videos of YouTube from Super Teacher website, uh, YouTube channel. You'll get to know more about it. Join the training program, teachers. I'm waiting for you to see, uh, waiting for, you know, to meet you during the training program. Did you did you check once, like one thing right now? You're not able to unmute yourself. And that's called a forced mute option. So during the training program, uh, it's, it's indirectly like, uh, you would have told this to the students that uh, if you talk, I'll paste this alert tape on your mouth. Have you done that? No? <laughs> or you would have heard this from somebody during your school days. This is this is that kind of a cello tape, Zoom cello tape, right? Forced mute. Now, how to use forced mute option, how to stop annotation. You know, we have a separate session on video conferencing tools as well. It'll completely get covered. And that's the reason I'm asking you to check Mission eGuru on superteacher.in website.
chalo that's it i'll not bore you much thank you so much teachers great interacting with one and all you can please fill up the feedback form and follow our channels one by one to get more information and get enlightened i hope your sunday was worth it my chicken is waiting i have to go and cook my wife doesn't do that thank you so much uh, had a nice time with you keep smiling enjoy your day take care bye teachers Uh, school leaders, if you wish to take this course for all your teachers of the school, you please please fill up the feedback form which is coming on the chat so that we'll get get in touch with you. Thank you very much. So all the school leaders who wish to take the course, kindly fill up the feedback or inquiry form. We'll get in touch with you. For all the teachers, the batch is starting from the upcoming Monday. That's on 14th of uh, June. So kindly enroll and get the most of it. So we'll be able to discuss all this, uh, all the all the open educational resources for various grades and subjects. So this is a proper 20-hour course that we are having for various grades and subjects with proper modules, including augmented reality, virtual reality, assessments, student engagement platforms, and whatnot. The list goes on. So please head over to our website and kindly enroll today. Thank you very much.